happy to be back at the AWEC again. This is the 10th seminar. We have done three, one, three online ones. The first one was improvised because we had to close down two weeks before revision. The third one, we had the awesome beer boxes. Who, who got the beer box? Yeah. Who's the guy that got four beer boxes? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lift your <laughs> Just two. And then uh, last year, we did the worst Belgian beers with reality. Thanks again. It was so totally, totally <laughs> awesome. Um, so, yeah, here we are. The on-site return of the online Belgian beer seminar. Um, I guess the, the next time, is it uitgedeeld, Pijs? Ik mag beginnen? Okay, so we'll do communication in Belgian. If you don't understand it, it means more beer is coming. Yes, so a little warning and, and disclaimer, uh, that which has been, this is the oldest slide in, in the deck, it's 10 years old. So um, the beer that we are going to serve might not be produced in a highly controlled environment and might not be food safe by the European Safety Authority. So if everybody wants to now get out and give their seat to Danko, <laughs> that's going to be appreciated. Um, Second of all, this is a new slide. These, these are my opinions <laughs> and not the one from my employer. <laughs> Just to make really sure that um, uh, why. So um, um, for those that serve my clients. Do I have QR codes for ONTAP? Do you think I'm an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, I am Frankie. Um, I do demo scene stuff. I do uh, RBBS uh, in the de in during daily life. I have consola cables on BE. Uh, we have a shop here later today. I have food for five, food for five chicken, chickens. I'm also network infrastructure project manager at a small brewery called AB InBev these days. <laughs> so, um, so um, I go around. Uh, the the Paris office, the Spatenbrouwer brewery in, in, in Munich, the uh, Hertog Jan brewery in, in Arsen, then Leuven headquarters. And this was me Wednesday morning leaving for revision at 4 a.m. in Leeds <laughs> <laughs> because we had things to do. <laughs> so uh, yeah. there is an untapped. If you send me a friend request, tell me, because I don't know who Beerbong 75 is. But you know Beerbong 69. I wouldn't have cheated on you, my darling Beerbong 79. <laughs> and uh, there was some endless music, which you might have not heard. Uh, Enzo Kraft, Belgian guy from Mechelen, makes uh, really good uh, EBM vibes and everything. Uh, check it out for good, good Belgian tunes while drinking beer. So, the first one, how does it taste? Awesome. Awesome? Yeah. Okay. What is it? <laughs> so, so, this is a bit like a flashback episode that we're doing, and we did do all the Trappists uh, a while, and there were two missing which the one was specifically at the end 12, and this is what you're having now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so with, with Orval, you all know this, it is beer made by monks and monastery burned down, they did rebuild it, they make more, lots of money in, in export. Um, so, but there is one thing with uh, Orval, is that um, the age question, because if you look on the bottle, or all you're drinking now was bottled on 26th of April of last year. So this Orval is one year old. Orval will keep on continuing in quality for five, six years, and then it will level out. It, 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 it won't go bad if you keep it dark, it's says high alcohol, uh, but you, you can keep it safely for five, six years, then it, it won't go bad, but it will, it will level out. Um, if you go to Belgium, you will pay for a young Orval, which is freshly brewed, you will pay five euros for an Orval of five-year-old, you, you will pay eight euros. Okay. 
All Finns, please move to Belgium. That's <laughs> cheap here, no. Indeed. Now, also, we're doing this for a friend who is no longer with us. So, let's raise our glasses to Industrial Pope. Because this was the only motherfucking heckler that I killed. And because he, he couldn't shut up and died in the back by the window. And that's still an achievement for me. TMA is fine, by the way. So this is next one. Um, the second one, tweede mag rondkomen. But we have to fix a small problem first. The next beer is technically not Belgian, although it's a Belgian style. And there's an area that we now need to take care of. So um, let's fix this. Can all Dutch people in the room please rise? Okay, thank you. Please raise your right hand. And, and keep standing up. And keep standing up. Okay. Okay, now, you swear allegiance to your new ruler of Baal is the third of Belgium. <laughs> Good. Done, everybody, okay? Voelde een beetje, eh? Het vlamschertje, eh? Uh, Samsung? Uh, yeah. uh, cool, lovely. So. <laughs> so, this is Retro Bright. It is a collab between the Home Computer Museum in Helmond and the brewery Deftige Aap in, in, in Helmond. If you look at the bottle, there is a description of the beer written by ChatGPT. Plus, it says this beer is not supposed to be used to retrobyte computers. <laughs> is it the Sir. Retro bit on, uh, yes, it is. It's an 8-bit one. Yeah. So, Helmond, for all your C64 guys, who, which famous composer is from Helmond? Jeroen Tel, there we go. <laughs> so let's all start singing Robocop 3 with the little finger LEDs and play air guitar. <laughs> the Home Computer Museum itself, it's, it, it's, it's actually pretty, pretty awesome. Many Home Computer Museums, they have stuff in, in a glass box and you cannot touch it. Everything you see here, the machines are working, they're playing demos, they're playing games. You can, you can fiddle around with them. They have some, some crazy ass stuff over there. Um, they have the complete CDI collection, every disc ever released. Helmont. So you can, you can see Helmont. Um, it's to Eindhoven, so you, you could be good. And also the Dusseldorf does Ryanair, so you're good from Tampere. Okay. Where are we on number two in the hall? Over there? Okay, you're gonna have to speed up. <laughs> um, Kracker. Anders moet er nog een andere uitdeler gaan opvorderen van achteren, dan gaat het weer uit. No, no, we're getting, ex we're getting extra distribution Belgians, so what? <laughs> so, for the Dutch people, welcome, that was easy. <laughs> and now we're going to wait a bit for the guys in the back to have their stuff. And then, um, go on. I am, yes, yes, no, no, I am calling you old, old stuff because you won't release a vinyl of Boost Drum. 
I am calling you out. <laughs> 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 Yes. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Guys, there's a question in the back and we cannot hear you shouting. Welcome on stage. The second one is the uh, retro 8 bit. Retro bright 8 bit. Okay. Uh, Wesley, waar zijn we op nummer 3? Kan hier komen? Yep, okay, number three. The next beer you will hopefully get. Number three. You drink faster, real more smoke. Oh, thank you. Uh, So, what's being distributed right now is is Visa Triple, which originally was brewed in the village of Visa. Up to 2013, then the brewery closed and it was gone. Uh, it was then bought up by a company in 2017 and is now brewed in uh, Bavikhoven by Brouwerij de Brabanderen. Bavikhoven and the Brabanderen are known for their extremely awesome beer called Bavik, which you will never have in this beer seminar because it's so awesome. It is an 8.5% alcohol, a Belgian triple. That alcohol number you will see a few times today. <laughs> but, like, I'm a gracious god, I will think of you guys, not all of them will be 8.5, there's a 10% as well. Yes, yes. So Wiese is known for a few things. First one are the Oktoberhallen. It is what you fear it is. Some, some dude went to Munich in the 1950s and said, I can do this too. And they built this venue to make their own Oktoberfest in basically fuck nowhere Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> that lasted till 1987. And now it's an event venue, uh, mostly Schlager music and darts, darts events. Darts. However, um, the Network Belgians call this their second home because it's also the spot of a huge ass land party. <laughs> Sorry, what was, what was the beer called? Wiese Triple. Wiese Triple by the Brabandere. Yeah. The Brabandere. Yeah. And it's in Bavikhoven, it's the Brabandere. It's from Bavikhoven. The QR codes doesn't work. Yeah, they don't work. They don't work? No. I, I'm really sorry that, that you have the wrong phone. The, the vier mag komen, ik hou ze wel bezig. There is a question in the back, I see hand waving. Or do you need a piss break? <laughs> Arfi? No? Oh, by the way, unless you forget, there are no piss breaks. Ah, hell yeah! Well, no. I don't need a piss You have a cup. <laughs> you have your pants. What's also there in Wiese is uh, Barikal about, which is... The huge ass chocolate factory that we have in Belgium. The what? Yeah, I'm going to the Is that just one? The vierde U? It seems that we are short of number three. That's all it. So, uh, Wiese, Barikalabout, and chocolate, which is the, the other good uh, export product of Belgium, uh, founded in 1911, and <laughs> that's actually next door to the Oktoberhallen, so you have ev every good stuff in Belgium in one square kilometer. 
<laughs> well, you're not there, Frankie. Uh, no, but actually some of my family members work there. So like together we have I 10 beer and chocolate see. in the family. Fair so enough. beat that. It's just that not everything good from Belgium is there. Yeah, that wasn't any. Okay, um, <laughs> dear assistance number four. So, <laughs> let's see, let, let, let's give the guys a thing. So, in, in the meanwhile, um, all you seasoned persons here in the first row, you're here every year. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> I've seen you many times. Yes. Yeah. So, number four. Number four. Yeah. Number number three. Some bottles exploded. We're short. So um, you're gonna have to share the memory of number three. It'll come back. So um, so 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 who's who's having their first beer seminar here? Just for the record. Yeah. Oh wow! Are you guys in for a surprise? <laughs> Who has done? Who has done at least like five of them? Like half. Okay. Who has done all of them? You. <laughs> well, and and scoop. <laughs> and our favorite Amiga hardware guy. <laughs> so number four, Victoria, uh, made by my good friend of AB InBev, who am I? Not speaking for uh, a Belgian strong, strong ale. It was launched in 2020 as a tribute to the city of Brussels. The label features Saint Michael, the patron saint of Brussels, lifted from a painting from 1635, so free of copyright. <laughs> and because of lovely beer marketing, it mentions 16 in a moment, sir. 1695 on the label because it looks cool, but that is the date when the French bombed Brussels to shit. These are bottles. Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is bottle land. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, holy shit, this is good. Yeah, it is good. It's beer. This is tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> tomorrow we go beer shopping in Luxembourg for the perfect draft. We'll bring a keg if we find one. Yeah. yeah we're going to the <laughs> bottle shop. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll follow Maybe we should join me and my uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, house, house as supporting the Finland. Right. Okay. Um, oh, this is have a quick, quick look in, in the back. N number four is still being handed out, MBB. Vicky, yes, I see. <laughs> if you like IPAs, we'll have to wait for a bit. But this was a good starting point for. Yeah, although that's not an IPA, it's a golden. I know, I know. Yeah. Is your taste profile on Tinder? <laughs> no, 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 it's grinder, my good sir. No kink shaming, a grinder is fine. You need to know, I said grinder, you said Tinder. Yeah. You had to know, you asked. So you had to know. I didn't, I didn't have to know, I'm just making casual conversations here. I know, I know. Because we are waiting for beer, for the next beer to be handed out, which is number five. So, this was a good one. Yes. Thank you. So, 
I said we're going to look back at a bit of 10 years of, of, of beer seminars. And because not everybody was here for every beer seminar, we're going to catch some beers up. We're going we're gonna to have like a little greatest hits party. So I'm um, seeing for number five coming out in the back. MBB, I don't know what this means. Okay, it's coming. So number five <laughs> is uh, Bruxelles Zot. That's awesome. It is, it is, it is Brits to Zot after all, so. So, Brits to Zot is made by Brouwerij de Halve Maan. And the special thing that they have is they have the brewery, downtown of Bruges, and the bottling plant is outside of the city. So they have an actual beer pipeline under the city to bring the beer from the brewery into the bottling plant. Is there a question in the back? So question is, did anybody ever try to dig into the beer pipe? To my knowledge, no. The pipe is in Amsterdam and costs too much money. Yes. Yes. Question. I don't know. Um, Google image says like one meter deep, and also part of the part of the the pipe actually hangs in the canal. It exploded at some point. Yes, it is. Yes, it's a high pressure one. Is it what? Sorry. Uh, yeah, half a mile is, is, is the brewery. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's half a mile. Half a mile. So also a good for your old school people here. There is a good link with the Commodore 64, because <laughs> Koen de Brabander, who is the sales manager at Halve Maan, actually has a synthpop project called Chaos Generator, and has released two vinyl albums. Vinyl? You see vinyl? There are little things. It's not bad. No, 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 no. I can see, I can see white, the white light silly going silent. I'm mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Do more. Um, so, uh, it's on, it's on, it's on Bandcamp. It, it, it's, it's actually pretty good synthwave. So you could um, check it out. Sir. No. That's a good answer. Yeah, yeah, quite a one. So, the Zot is the second name because the Brugge people was Brugge and Brugge. Yeah. And they had to change it. Yeah, like crazy. Yeah, okay. So, so to, um, thank you, sir. Uh, to uh, summarize for 
the people on the stream who are wondering what the hell we are doing here. Uh, Brugse Zot got his name Zot because the original name, due to legal things, had to be changed, and now it, it is Brugse Zot. So, number six, Quaremont. In a moment. <laughs> this is ominous. This is ominous. <laughs> In a moment. Have half of it and then pass out. Yes. Six beer. So, Quaremont by Brouwerij and Horen, a strong golden ale. And uh, as those who were here a few years ago where we did the entire cycling thing, <coughs> that cycling is a thing in Belgium. In Belgium, you have two sports, Schotten and Koes. So, so football and cycling. Like, um, we don't have hockey, we, 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 call, we, we call it ice hockey even. It's, it's like so low on the, on the radar, it's ice hockey, not hockey. You know, like, like, like non-ice hockey is ranked higher than hockey. So it's, it's what we do. So we take, so we take, we take bicycles and we run up old streets, which we actually do not restore and leave shitty, so that the guys in a bicycle can run up them, a few times a year. And then we call it a mountain, although the Quaremont is not a mountain; it's a street. The actual mountain is called the the Klausberg. And then if you go back to the Oktoberhalle in Wiese, you will see that Eddie Uit Klausbergen, a good, a good like Schlager singer from Belgium, was there many times. So we have come kind of full circle. And you will see there are many like races that everybody watches, like Formula One, Tour of Flanders, the E3, Harald Beke. The E3 is the number of the highway that they cross seven times. And Dwarsdorf Vlaanderen, which does not go all the way through Flanders, it stays local around the city. It has a, a so, yeah, so, so, so Quaremont has a, a, a pretty light taste. Yeah. Correct, yes. In a moment. Okay, number seven. Yeah, so seven Cornet. Hang on, there are some questions. It's not my fault that you are too slow drinking. Yeah, but but like um, in a good strong beer, you don't taste how strong it is. Like, remember Duvel. Duvel drinks really quickly, and then 15 minutes later, it kills you. So I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then look at my first row. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four friends, please. Who can carry you out? Yeah. Yeah, this one's up. Okay, so the, the people in the back, uh, seems that we ran out of Quaremont. So next time, please sit more towards the front. <laughs> so let's uh, continue with uh, Cornet. And uh, we will do our best to uh, do fewer beers per cup so you have everybody has something to taste so now also for the Finns we have a special guest with us because this is this is the vessel of the ghost of DDT of accession this is the vessel which contains the ghost of DDT of accession this is the taxi sign he put on his car so that he could drive everywhere he wanted to. How the fuck did you get that? Uh, how I got it is not important to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's here and it's safe. It is here because DDT was always too drunk to attend a beer seminar. 
So therefore, we have now fixed this. I can't believe that he was ever too drunk. Nobody loves you, Kebby. Or maybe I can believe it. Yes. So. I don't want you, Kebby. Yeah. So, um, seven beer. Think, I think that the, the brewery is wrong. Ignore it. This is Cornet Oak Triple. Still haven't told us the previous beers. Uh, and not from this one either. No, I, I see. I see. I, I've observed. It says yeah, yeah, but still, I, I, I don't like being lied to. What? I know, I know, but he's the first being held in the shadow. Yes. So, uh, in, in the meanwhile, while the, the Finns are getting happy in the front, how is my second row doing? This is the way. They're Swedish. Well, it's okay. Welcome, Grogu. <laughs> okay, so we have Finns. We have the Finns in the front. The Swedes behind there. What's in row number three? No, we. Germans. Germans. Ger Germans in row number three. Okay. Well, we know that the Dutch are in the back. Well, uh, shall I say, my new Belgian friends. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Guys, um, can, can the Finns please be quiet for a second? We have a question in the back and I want to hear it. In a, in a moment, we'll get to that. Never. Nice. How dare you? Ja, acht, acht mag komen direct. Number eight. No, it's not. We actually, so, so I understand you're new here, sir, but this is slow. Yeah, it's like Belgian beers for beginners was like the second year. <coughs> Sunny Moon. Made by brewery Slapmutske. And is a light blonde beer. Which means nightcap. <laughs> I shall slap with you every night, my friend. Yeah, number eight. It, it, it is. It is. It is really awesome, isn't it? So. And then, and then, you know why it, why it tastes so nice? Because the guys from Slapmutske, they really put all the energy in their beer. Yeah. Because yeah. if, you, if you look at their website, this is their website today. I, I, I would, the only reason that you can date this website to today is because it has an Instagram picture on the bottom. <laughs> that is actually, it looks older. It is, it, 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 it looks older. Um, so it actually uses frames. French, Yeah. It, it lacks the, the, the abstract. Yeah, so, so like st style sheets are for losers. And there is some JavaScript running that opens the menus and then opens uh, and then updates the frame at the bottom. But hey, if they do good beer, what the style sheets? 
Negative six. Okay. So everybody had beer number eight. Yes? Okay, good. So we now there was a question, this is number nine. Now there was a question about the strength of the beers that you just had. Eight, okay, wait, let's just count down. Who says 10? Who says eight? The, the last batch, eight. Eight, six, seven, five, four, zero. The last four were alcohol free. It's alcohol free enough to get into assembly. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's why you have Question in the back. Yeah. So, 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 uh, Zot was actually Sport Zot. Quaremont, Cornet, and Sunny Moon is not beer, it's sold as hop juice. No, no, it, it, it really is that, that the, the, the alcohol-free beers really have evolved tremendously in the last few years that there actually are breweries which only make alcohol-free beer. When we started planning this seminar, one of the plans was, let's do everything alcohol-free and don't tell anyone. The last one. What you're having now, number nine, is back to where we, conti where we were is quack. I am a gracious god. You, you can thank me later. <laughs> because I, I would offer buy you a beer. We can we can we can do it later. Um, this is the regular quack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 th this is Powell quack. All right. So. Yep. So next one is here. Best, yeah. So this is good um, uh, So Quack is made by Bostels, seventh generation brewer, and it is in the middle of the city of Bugenhout, and it is really zoned in by the entire city with a supermarket next to it. In the middle of the brewery complex. It's all good. So in the middle of the, the complex, you have what they call the villa. <laughs> and this is a picture of the villa from some time ago. And if you look at the villa, this is now their, their main office. So here's the reception desk. Up there are offices. And then behind this window is the, is the bathroom of the meeting rooms. Well, because this is an AB InBev site, I was there for stuff. And I went to the bathroom. Look at that bathtub. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like if you need to go somewhere, you have plenty of choice. So, and this is now, you're, you're on number 10. Yeah. This is Quack Rouge. So while number 10 and 11 are finished, 
we are going to recap a bit about Belgium again and give you, like, this has to be educational, it's revision, you have to go home smarter. So we're going to quickly run, run through Belgium to explain you the basics again. Also to welcome our new Dutch Belgians in the back. So Belgium, federal country, regions and communities, and they all do their own stuff. There's three regions, the Flemish, the Walloon, and Brussels. And there's three communities, the Flemish, the French, and the German-speaking community. The regions handle location-based stuff, communities do personal related stuff, so economy is on, is on one side, education is on the other side. And to make it more complicated, there is a federal government that does budget, energy, pensions, defense, etc. Which means that in total, we have six governments in Belgium. Tons of fun. Who already has beer number 11? Okay, uh, your middle, do you have to have a question or do you have the beer? Are you dying? I cannot hear you. Is that beer number 11 you have? Yes. Good. So, so, the, 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 the folks in the front, what kind of beer is this? Uh, yes, no. It is. So this is made by Brasserie de la Seine from Brussels. We have two beers from them. We visited the, them before in the Brussels conundrum. I think they were also in the beer box, some of them. And this is their Brusselaire. It's an uh, IPA, black, Cascadian, dark ale. So yes, lots of hops and a dark beer. So that is uh, two out of three. And then for number 12. <laughs> so we are now back at eight. We're going to throttle back a tiny bit and go for uh, Taras Bulba, which is only 4.5%. Just to give you a breather. Oh, the regular one is not a special year. So it, it, it is a regular barrel, it's not a special year. So you can just pick the regular one. These are not dated like Orval, these are just made random production batches. It is also pretty fresh because we have good fridges down, downstairs in the basement. Like, like the, the drinking beer cold really helps. Yeah. So, I think number 12 almost has reached the back. So, we're going to go into the last sprint. You're not there yet, and you can't see the finish yet. But.
So, so the question is that this is a speed run. You must be new here. I am also pretty disappointed in my new hecklers in the back. Yeah, okay, okay. Sir, can you do other animals? Okay, so let's do something different now. People in the US, this is a man in drag, hide your children. Are you okay, Chucky? <laughs> so, so we have now kind of reached the peak of where we are going to. This is Obscure by Brouwerij Ruimtegist. which translates as space yeast. It is a quadruple, so four fermentations, which will make it really sweet, because, because you have to get four fermentation in bottle, you have to add lots of extra sugar. So it'll, it'll drink really easy, which makes it very dangerous. Ramtegist itself is a microbrewery run by two, by two folks and they're basically trying to get the beer, all the ingredients sourced locally. I think I forgot to write down from where they were, so it doesn't matter. So, and then for now, this will be the last beer of the triples and the quads and the doubles. So we're now gonna go a bit on a side path for the Belgian stuff. While we are finishing number 13, we are, we are finishing number 13 in Northern Belgium. And we wait a few seconds for number 14. <laughs> and then we should be fine. We're not there yet, by the way. Question. Sorry? An animal? Um, basically, it's not used with any animal product, so this is vegan beer. You can use like uh, some animal products to clarify or to do stuff, and that's what it is. So more of number 14, made by Brouwerij Mack. It's a farmhouse ale or a saison or a saison for your heathens who cannot speak French. I'll wait a second for number 14 to be distributed. <laughs> Reality, you're still okay? You're enjoying it, aren't you? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you.
So when we go for Brewery Mac, we are from Sterbeek, north of Brussels. They started in 2017 and they have two beers. First one is Macas Pruve. Second one is Magnifique. Macas Pruve translates to Can I Have a Taste? And Magnifique means magnificent. So what's the what's the what's the feedback on um, magnifique? Is it magnifique? Awesome. The Swedes don't like it. All right. Number 15. <laughs> I want to I want to see what reality thinks of this. So number 15 is out the wind day. Which is a wee heavy scotch ale. <coughs> I'll give you some time to scan the QR code. There are no backpacks here. So, and I, I couldn't find, I couldn't find a bottle picture for this beer. It's also no longer listed on their website. So either this is something old that the beer shop got and found, and, and I was lucky to find it, or there we go. 60. Okay, so everybody has had 15? Okay. Who has not had 15? Yeah, you had a helicopter, I saw it. So, Number 16. <laughs> <laughs> This is an IPA from Brussels. Finally, an IPA. You're breaking me. I love you, you're breaking me. This is the last one, you've done it. Ah. You've done it. I'm still collecting, I'm still drinking. <laughs> so this is an IPA from La Cambre or het, and, and Het Anker. It was made, it was brewed first, uh, in Brussels and then moved to Mechelen. This is an Abbey beer, which means that the, 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 the brewery gives to the monastery some money so they, they can do stuff. Uh, Grimbergen is an Abbey beer, Leffe is an Abbey beer. It's in the same category. They, they, they use some pictures from the monastery and then they get some money from the, from the beer sales. because it's an IPA and I was too lazy to update the slide. So, 
Does anybody want some more? Or are you done? Who wants who wants more? more, more, more. Who is who is dead inside? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, as most of you already discovered, the Belgians have a beer machine at Revision, and we're going to restock it tomorrow. So, uh, come and get a glass, and you can have whatever the hell we have there. Uh, look for look for the banner, and also I um, I am completely okay with name voting for our demo in the PC demo combo. <laughs> some some questions left and right. The last one. Yeah, it was a beer. It was it was a it was a beer. It was a Macambre <laughs> IPA. Can I get an ambulance? Um, uh, InfoDesk will help you for an ambulance. Any other questions? Serious questions. No, I, I need an ambulance. I really do. <laughs> you walked right into that, Wesley. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, <laughs> okay, Mr. Brightlight. Okay, uh, if you want to, to get acquainted with Belgian beers in Belgium, where should you go? Do you have a brewery or bar that you would recommend? Uh, there are, you, you would not go for a brewery, you would go for um, a bar. There are some good bars in Mechelen, uh, which is not overpriced as uh, university city as, 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 as Leuven is, is, for instance, or Antwerpen or Ghent. You will have bars that say, we have everything, but they will charge you triple the price. So um, Mechelen would be uh, a good start. I have also found a really awesome beer bar in Charleroi, which is, you have to go down five stairs to old basements, and then suddenly you're in like this, this cave, and they have the most awesome beers in there. So those cities are where I've been, I say, okay, that was good. Next question. What about Jean-Claude Van Damme? Um, sorry, we cannot hear Medo, Medo. What about Jean-Claude Van Damme? What about Kompo turned off? Van Damme. I, sorry, I cannot hear you. Another question, coherent. What about Jean-Claude Van Damme? Jean-Claude Van Damme was a few seminars ago. Uh, we have discussed that um, Street Fighter 2 is the best movie ever. <laughs> so um, if there are no further questions, I hope you all survive tomorrow. Is it a legit question? <laughs> and thank you all. Um, deadlines are coming up. Uh, upload your entries. There is a messaging system in PartyMeister. Please check your entries regularly. The compo organizers might send you a message with a question, and that's it. Thank you all. Have a safe trip home. Sleep well. Thank you. Sir.